The evolution of birds Birds evolved during the Great Reptilian Radiation of the Mesozoic Era. Amniotic eggs and scales on the legs are just two of the reptilian features we see in birds. But modern birds look quite different from modern reptiles, because of their feathers and other distinctive flight equipment. Almost every part of a typical bird's anatomy is modified in some way that enhances flight. The bones have an internal structure that is honeycombed, making them strong but light. The skeleton of a frigate bird, for instance, has a wingspan of more than 2 meters, but weighs only about 113 grams. Another adaptation reducing the weight of birds is the absence of some organs. Females, for instance, have only one ovary. Also, modern birds are toothless, an adaptation that trims the weight of the head. Food is not chewed in the mouth but ground in the gizzard, a digestive organ near the stomach. Crocodiles also have gizzards, as did some dinosaurs. The bird's beak, made of keratin, has proven to be very adaptable during avian evolution taking on a great variety of shapes suitable for different diets. Flying requires a great expenditure of energy from an active metabolism. Birds are endothermic, they use their own metabolic heat to maintain a warm, constant body temperature. Feathers and, in some species, layers of fat provide insulation, that enables birds to retain their metabolically generated heat. An efficient respiratory system and a circulatory system with a four-chambered heart keep tissues well supplied with oxygen and nutrients, supporting a high rate of metabolism. The lungs have tiny tubes leading to and from elastic air sacs, that help dissipate heat and reduce the density of the body. For safe flight, senses, especially vision, must be acute. Birds have excellent eyes perhaps the best of all the vertebrates. The visual areas of the brains are well developed, as are the motor areas. Flight also requires excellent coordination. With brains proportionately larger than those of reptiles and amphibians, birds generally display very complex behavior. Avian behavior is particularly intricate during breeding season when birds engage in elaborate rituals of courtship. Because eggs are shelled when laid, fertilization must be internal. Copulation involves contact between the mate's vents, the openings to their clocus. After eggs are laid, the avian embryo must be kept warm through brooding by the mother, father, or both, depending on the species. A bird's most obvious adaptation for flight is its wings. Bird wings are airfoils that illustrate the same principles of aerodynamics as the wings of an airplane. Providing power for flight, birds flap their wings by contractions of large pectoral breast muscles anchored to a keel on the sternum breastbone. Some birds, such as eagles and hawks, have wings adapted for soaring on air currents, and flap their wings only occasionally. Other birds, including hummingbirds, must flap continuously to stay aloft. In either case, it is the shape and arrangement of the feathers that form the wings into an airfoil. The fastest birds are the appropriately named swifts, which can fly 170 km hours. In being both extremely light and strong, feathers are among the most remarkable of vertebrate adaptations. Feathers are made of keratin, the same protein that forms our hair and fingernails and the scales of reptiles. Feathers may have functioned first as insulation during the evolution of endothermini, only later being co-opted as flight equipment. The evolution of flight required radical alteration in body form, but flight provides many benefits. It enhances hunting and scavenging, many birds exploit flying insects, an abundant, highly nutritious food resource. 
flight also provides ready escape from earthbound predators and enables some birds to migrate great distances to utilize different food resources and seasonal breeding areas. The bird that travels farthest in its annual migration is the Arctic tern, which flies round trip between the North Pole and South Pole each year. Analyses of fossilized skeletons support the hypothesis that the closest reptilian relatives of birds were the theropods, a group of relatively small, bipedal carnivorous dinosaurs. Most researchers agree that the ancestor of birds was a feathered theropod. However, some scientists place the origin of birds move earlier, from an ancestor common to both birds and dinosaurs. The intense current interest in the origin of birds will undoubtedly bring us closer to understanding how these masters of the sky evolved from non-flying reptiles.